everybody. So I get this question on a pretty regular basis, which is how do we get those light, bright pictures? And first of all, tip number one, white walls. Kind of obvious, right? We do, we have white walls all throughout the office, which really helps with brightness. And so that's kind of, you know, we're not asking, I'm not suggesting that everybody go out and paint their walls white, but that's an answer to a question. How do we get those light, bright pictures? Definitely white walls is a good place to start. The second thing is the app that I use for photo editing all the time. It's called PicTap Go. So let me just show you start to finish how I usually take pictures, especially around the office, but I use the same thing, um, the same strategy, the same process, even at home and with my family. So um, we have our little subject here. This is Pippa, my little girl. And she's sleepy. And Molly's gonna hold Pippa up and I'm gonna show you how I take a picture typically. We just obviously wanna hold her up against the wall. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on my screen right over my subject and that way my subject is in, um, in perfect, clear um, view. So if you want to turn Pippa a little bit toward me, Molly, yeah, just like that. Okay, so, oh, hey, squirmy worm. All right, hi. And then I just take my picture. I usually take a few just to be sure in case there are blinks. Okay. So once I have the picture, the next step is obviously to go into that editing app and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, I am going to open my phone and I'm gonna go into my photos and I can see those three pictures of Pippa that I took right there and I'm gonna quickly just look at them to see which one I like best. Looks like she's looking down a little bit there. I instantly delete the ones I don't want. I actually think the first one looks pretty good so I'm gonna delete that. So then I just go out of there and I go into my Pick Tap Go app and the way this works is that you pick the photo that you want and then you tap on the filters that you want. So it automatically brings up all these filters. And what's really cool is my original photos right here, but I can see how these pic the same picture will look with all of these different filters. So I almost always, speaking of going light and bright, tap on a filter that's called lights on. When I tap there, I can see that instantly made it brighter. And the slider is the most important part because you wanna use that to bump that up or down wherever you want it to be. So I think that all the way to the right is just a little too much. I'm gonna back it down a little bit and I'm done with that filter. Now, the part that I love is being able to add a second filter if you want. You don't have to, you can mix and match as you like. But the one I use a lot around the office is called Faux Fi and I also use Awake quite a bit. These are two other filters that I use after lights on. So once I tap on Faux Fi, same thing, it really bumped up the um, saturation of the colors and the contrast, and again, I have that slider. So I don't wanna to go too extreme. I'll back it down a little bit, get it where I want it, and that looks good to me. So again, I can add more and more filters. I usually don't add more than just one or two. So pick, tap, and then go. Once I tap that, I save it to my camera roll, and my picture is saved. Okay, so here's my before picture, and here's my after picture makes a huge difference and I highly recommend bumping up your pictures and brightness a little bit if it's your style for your everyday pictures.